Okay, so we're back with our first haul of vintage items. We've got a variety of stuff. Again, I'm Jenna. And I'm Kayla. And um, we are going to be doing a series of hauls until, um, I, I guess until we get enough subscribers uh, for us to do a big sale of everything that we're going to show in the next month, month and a half, will be in the first live haul. So we're going to start with this Relco, Relpo Tiger Planter. It says, Get Well Tiger. I'll let Kayla hold it and kind of show the back of it. It has a few, um, you need to get closer so they can see. It has a few discolorations, but I think for its age, it is it is good. It does have um, a little chip right here, if you can, well, it's hard for me to, right there. And it does have some color discoloration on the back of it, but on the front, it looks really good. It's missing, um, on its tail, it's missing a little bit of paint or something right there. But he's a cute little planner, mm -hmm. and he will be the very first thing when we do have our uh, live sale. He will be the first thing that will be up for sale. <clears throat> the next thing we have here is a night, I'm pretty sure it said on the bottom, 1979 Play School Space Spinner in its original box. The box is not perfect by any means. Um, and you want to show on the bottom of it um, where it says, turn it. Is that upside down? Um, you, there we go. Yeah, but you have nope. it upside down. Um, right there it says 1979 Play School Space Spinner. And it is still in its box nestled safely in there, and it has the old instructions. And so, that is another great item. I actually looked on eBay. Um, here's the back of it. I looked on eBay today just to see what it was selling for. I did not look at sold items, but I did find, uh, I did find it and somebody had it for sale for $200. And just so you know, it won't be anywhere near that when we go <laughs> to sell it. The next thing we have is this cute little dog. He, I, you know what, I should have, I should have uh, brought up a tape measure. He's at least 12 inches. And he, he is not marked. <coughs> But he, uh, he has a little chip at the bottom, if you can see there. And I think that is his only flaw. He does have a, I say that, and there's a discoloration here, but it's underneath. It looks to be underneath the, um, the glaze. And there's a tiny scratch. It's a scratch, not a crack. Um, I don't know if I can get yeah i don't know that you're going to be able to see it and then if you'll notice on the front underneath the glaze is this little chain and he's got unique whisk whiskers if you want to get that close his whiskers almost look like like writing but but i don't think that they are and he is not i don't know if i said this he is not um there is no maker he doesn't have a maker on the bottom you know show on the bottom or anything like that but he is cute and then we have a florette one florette japan coffee mug coffee cup it's in really good condition there is the bottom of it you'll have to bear with us it's so weird um how we think it should be when we're showing something and then it's not even on the camera and then it does have a little 
yellow spot right there. But um, that, it does look like it may be in the glaze, so it might be part of the maker. And it does have a little uh, flaw on the front of it. Focus. If I can get it to focus. It has some on the top, too. Oh, it does? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you get this to focus? <laughs> um, we really need to work on... Oh, and she said it had some on the, the top. No, there's no chips or anything. Oh, no chips, you can but run there's colors. You can, yeah, there might be a little discoloration, but there are no chips or anything on the top of it. And that's really cute. Next, we have Made in California Bluebirds. Those are really pretty. Yeah, I'd have yeah. them in my house. Um, you can tell if you want to get close enough if it'll if it will um, show the the paint. You can tell that it's definitely hand painted. Turn it around. Um, it's almost, um, some of it you can even see like the marks where maybe they didn't get it completely painted all the way, but it is really cute. The only uh, thing that I see wrong with it is on the tip of this tail. Um, there looks to be a, right here. It, it's painted but it's not smooth. So I don't know if they went back and, you know, a lot of people do this and maybe maybe that's what we need to do to make it focus on the tail and not us. Anyway, Kayla's gonna have to work on getting that. This, I'm going to show that. This is a um, Ute Mountain Tribe pottery piece, and it is by R Root, and it's got the number 24 on it. Uh, I did look this up. It's got beautiful colors. Um, I did look this up, and um, this pottery is collectible. And I think it's pretty. It's not really uh, the, the style that I have in my house, but um, a lot, I know a lot of people. And you can you can uh, see if you can turn it. It does have some indentions on the side of it, mm -hmm. and but those are glazed over, so that is definitely a flaw, a maker's flaw. And it does have a, a few little discolorations but again uh I, I have tried washing it and it doesn't come off so it's almost like it is in um it's under the glaze but it's very pretty very pretty and it's uh it's pretty it's not extremely heavy but it's not light either <laughs> Here we have a pair of salt and pepper shakers. And they are not, they don't have a maker's mark. Um, and they don't have the uh, stoppers on the bottom of them. But I thought they looked uh, looked really neat when I, when I found them and thought that somebody might want them in their collection. Next, we have a little candy dish. It's a beautiful green candy dish. It's round, the top comes off. And I want to say that this might be moon and star pattern, the moon and star pattern. Um, I almost wanna keep it for myself, but I don't really need it. But I just think it's beautiful and it has this cute, um, little scalloped design on the top of it and then it just fits nestles in 
and it's uh, it's just really really pretty. Be good. It would be great to sit out for Christmas or a candy bowl. Yeah, it's a candy bowl. Um, or for St. Patrick's Day. Next, we have this beaded wallet inside. It 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 is old. It is definitely vintage, if not antique. I don't. Gosh. Mm -hmm. Um. There you go. And it does have some discoloration on it. Inside, it has, it's a snap. And inside, it it really has some discoloration. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, gosh. It's so hard for me to figure out which way the camera is focusing. And see, I want to go this way, and instead it wants me to go this way. There you go. There Now you can see it. I have not tried to get any of it off. Um, it's missing a few, good lord, a few pearls, and inside it does have a, let made me show in that, Japan. yes, a made in Japan tag. Okay, I'm just gonna, come on, come on. Next, we have a, a little lady with her goose planter. Right there, you can see the Made in Japan mark. And, have you called mm -hmm. Oh, we can't see them. And uh, inside, it has that speckle that is actually under the glaze. It, it does have, I thought it did have, no, it doesn't. I was thinking it had, so I don't see any chips or cracks on her. Yes, maybe this is a crack. It looks like there are maybe two, here, I'll let you hold it because you tend to do that better. Two little cracks that may have been painted over, I'm not sure, but it still seems in really good condition for the age that it is. And she's really cute. She's happy that her, her goose <laughs> is next to her. We have some art glass here. This is a blue dolphin. And there are no chips and cracks on it. It's it's kind of um, up on a shell pedestal. I'm gonna show, show the bottom. Yeah, the, sh the shell pedestal. It sits up there. Um, and it's really, really cute. Kind of heavy too. Next, we have this cute little fella. He is a cookie jar, and as you can see, his paint is not the best. Um, I have looked, there is nothing, I, I don't see any sort of mark. Um, his, his hat. You can see on the rim, there is some paint. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was hand painted just because you can kind of see where the paint has worn off. And then uh, there he is. He's really cute. I'm gonna show the back of him. And there's underneath, and like I said, there is no maker's mark. And then on the back, if Kayla can, can get it close enough, I do wanna point out that there is a hairline fracture. It does not go all the way through to the center though. Uh, it's right here. And hopefully she can get that to focus. So yeah, it's right Somewhere there. Somewhere about right here. And so he is a really cute, really cute <coughs> cookie jar or, you know. Decoration. Yeah, really, really cute. Now this, this is a tin box. The top of it, it's got a, you can carry it like this. The top of it has a little design, but when you open it up, 
it's got six, ten, oh goodness, jars on it, in it, and they open. I was just smelling to see if it had a smell. They open and they have a lid. They smell old. They are old. Um, I, I would venture to say they don't, none of the, the cans have any sort of label on them. So I'm not quite sure. I don't know if they were used for spices or medicines. They almost look spray painted. Um, or anything like that. And Kayla said they almost look spray painted. I do think that they are painted. I don't know that they're spray painted. Here's the bottom of that. So I don't know. I, I tend to think that that's the original, like how they came, but maybe not. Anyway, they're definitely, it's definitely an old tin. Let me show the back and the bottom of it. Next, we have a little dog. I <clears throat> want to say... Maybe like a schnauzer. He's some sort of a schnauzer type. He has some weight on him. Um, it does not have, he does not have a maker's mark. And I have not researched him. But um, he seems really to be in good quality. He doesn't have any chips or cracks. And he has... Um, like a greenish tint. Yeah. He, his, he's almost like, like a green... There you go. And there's his little tail. And he's really cute. And another dog. I don't know what kind of dog he would be. I don't know. Once again, we don't have a maker's... He doesn't have a maker's mark. He does have a small flaw on his ear. But... He... Is really um, did you show them the bottom? Mm -hmm. Next, you know, that up. we have a strawberry covered dish, so the top goes off. <laughs> And the top's the lid inside. And then on the bottom, there is a mark. I cannot read that mark. But it's in really good condition. No chips, no cracks that I have seen. And it's really cute. And I know that, that strawberries, everybody seems to like strawberries. It's like the one thing... Well, for me, it's, I always think of strawberries when I think of vintage stuff, but it's really cute. Next, we have a, this was a souvenir, um, show them the bottom. On the bottom, it says, um, a sou it's souvenir from, let me see. Casa Grande, souvenir of Casa Grande, um, Arizona, and it is marked Japan, and so it, it has no chips or cracks, some of the gold is missing off the top, and it's got a cute little bow. Next, we have a set of four of Anchor Hawking Fire King bowls. Now, I would use this as a cereal bowl. Um, there's three orange ones and one green one. And there is the label. 
They are. Um, I was. I'm. I'm betting someone before I took possession of them did run them through the dishwasher because it's not. Um, it's not a. It's more of a matte color than it is shiny. But they still. Um, I've never seen these colors. I really liked the colors. Orange is my favorite color. So Next, we have a sugar bowl from Lenox. It has, the, the, the lid has a little strawberry on the top of it. Yeah. And, of course, it's that there you go, there's the Linux stamp on the bottom of it. And it's just a lone sugar bowl. Maybe somebody's out there looking, uh, needing a replacement. Here you go. Next we have a vase, a beautiful glass, it kind of ombre, it's kind of a glass ombre, a green glass ombre. It, it starts darker at the top and then it uh, kind of fades to a lighter green at the bottom. And I just thought that was really cute with the design at the bottom. Like a bubbly. Yeah. Okay. Next we have a set of nesting canisters. So the first one is the big one. Halo, just hold it, I will. First one is the big one and it has an F for flower. We open it up and we have an S for the sugar. And all of these have lids. They all have lids. Um, this is the C for coffee. And there's its lid. And then we have the T for the T. And they all fit in one another. And they are gold and they are plastic. Um, there is no, I don't see any um, maker's mark. And I've not uh, done any research on these. There is a small flaw on this one. This one is the T. And if you'll notice, the lip kind of goes, I mean, the lid kind of has a, kind of goes up there. Uh, I, it almost looks like maybe somebody set it too close to the coffee pot. And it just kind of deformed, where is it? Deformed the lid just a little. There you go. Next is a hand painted dish. I'm sorry, there was. <clears throat> I washed this, but I clearly did not get the sticker off of it. Okay, this does not have a maker's mark, but it's a little shell, and it was painted by oh. Becky Goldworth. Let me see. Becky Gidner in 1971. It would be a cute little dish to put your soap in. Next, we have, this is a Cocker Spaniel, isn't it? No idea. I think it's a Cocker Spaniel. Um, show on the bottom. On the bottom, it does have a crack uh, and a chip, but it does not show when you set him down. And once again, there is no maker's mark. We, uh, 
We do have a lot of Hager and McCoy um, made in Japan, made in occupied Japan stuff. We're just slowly um, gonna pull it out and show you as, as we go. Next is a 1961 treasure craft and it's from Compton California and it is a little elf sitting on a boot now I don't know what this is used for but there are little tiny holes all in the boot yeah, um, you can see straight through. I, I don't know if it's meant like because uh show underneath underneath you i i don't know i don't know i i have no idea what the holes are for if you know what the holes are for you can let us know but he is a jolly little elf <laughs> look at that face he's happy is he an elf or is he a he's an elf i don't know what else he could be i would say he's an elf he's got the ears like one yeah he's got the ears <laughs> Next, we have another glass covered dish, and this is a beautiful blue. Um, I wish you could see the light coming through it like we can see it. It's very, very pretty, and there are no chips or cracks in it. Next, we have a pair of salt and pepper shakers. These are Otagiri blue kitties with blue flowers. I'm surprised you didn't keep them for yourself. I know. I love cats. Um, show the bottom. It's still um, got its, there, right there, it if says, I can get it right. right there, it says Otagiri Japan. And the, um, it says hand, yeah, handcrafted Otagiri Japan is what the, uh, the gold sticker says no chips or cracks on these although they are missing very pretty their um stoppers on the bottom oh is that a chip mm -hmm. i lied a little one there is a tiny chip nope. on yeah, it's wanting to focus on me and not on the cat's ear. But there's a tiny, tiny chip on that one. On that one's ear. Next we have an art glass uh, starfish. Very shiny. Look at the colors in that. That is very pretty. And if you want to flip it to show them the back. The, the back. That's the back. It's a... It's, uh, Kind of like a lime green, amber, burnt orange type color in the in Got the star. Yeah, it. it's it's definitely be it could definitely be used as a paperweight. Next, we have just a little. I want to call this a peacock. I think it's a peacock. He is not, um, he doesn't have a maker, but he's really cute. Just a little blue peacock. I want to say peacock. He might be a pheasant, but I think he's a peacock. And let's see, is there any, I don't think that there's anything wrong with him. He looks to be hand painted. And he's small. He he's maybe two inches. Next we have a black panther pan, plant panther planter. Um, when I found him he had rocks in him. 
but um, I think he would be cute with little like succulent plants in. Um, he does not, to my knowledge, have a maker's mark. Nope. He's on a log. He looks like he's about to pounce something. He's on mm -hmm. a log, and the log is green and brown. And there is, turn it around, there is a small chip oh. right here. And that is, that is the only thing wrong with him. There is, if, if you can show inside, he, this does have crazing due to age. If you can look, so you can kind of see it inside, the crazing. So it does have some crazing. I was looking right here. I was thinking that might, but I think that's just part of the, well, the wood green that they're trying to make. Mm -hmm. And this is ceramic also. Next, we have a pair of Fitz and Floyd Little Bird Salt and Pepper Shakers. <laughs> if I can hold them, show one at a time. Really cute. And they do have their stoppers. Both of them have their stoppers. Both of them have a... Uh, the Fitz and Floyd sticker and this one is fine. This one is fine too. And it looks to be like this one is fine. There is maybe some of the, that may be something right there. If you can see that little white thing on the tip of his yeah on the tip of his tail or wing um, but they're really cute <laughs> next we have a little iron it's a dish in the shape of an iron it's made in japan it does have crazy it's got little flowers um yeah can you get that it, it's actually engraved into the bottom that the made in japan and it mm -hmm. looks to be like red clay um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that, but the lid is fine. It doesn't have any chips or cracks. It does just have the crazing on it. And then there is a chip on the inside. You cannot see it from the outside, but there's the chip on the inside. And it's really cute. It'd be really cute for somebody for somebody's little uh, something to keep buttons in or sewing supplies. Next we have a Taylor Smith Taylor Pebble Ford made in the USA. It's Pebble Ford by Gilts. And it's a it's pink with a uh, calendars yes gold flex in it and then a design it's a 1969 1959 1959 golden calendar plate and it has no chips or cracks <laughs> okay. Um, here we have a sugar bowl, and it's kind of a blue speckled, and it, ha it comes with two salt and pepper shakers, 
Japan. They say Japan on the bottom. And they have their stoppers. And there we go right there. And so the salt and pepper shakers and the salt and pepper shakers and the sugar uh, bowl, they are, when we have our live sale, they will all be sold together as one. <clears throat> now the last thing we have is a pair of Japan covered wagon salt and pepper shakers. They do not feel, and they have their stopper, they do not feel to me to be, they're not, they're not glass. So maybe. And at first I thought they were plastic, but I don't think that they're plastic. I think that they are, um, I don't know what they are. They're not ceramic. They will break though. Yeah, they will. Them. If you drop them, they, they will break. They're, they're not, they're old. They're discolored. There's some stuff missing. So, and look, if you can see it, it looks like a small flaw, like crack. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd call it a crack, but something. And so, you know, things like this, they're not going to go for a lot. And, but we think they're unique enough that Someone somebody want still them would collection. want them because they are still old. And I would rather pick them up and pass them along than let them end up getting broken and go to a landfill. So this is the end of our first haul. And we plan on... Um, having another haul here within two or three days after Christmas. And we look forward to showing you even more treasures that we have because we do have a lot. And if you want to be notified when we do go live um, with our hauls, just click the subscribe button. And if there's anything in particular that you were looking for or that you, uh, any, um, maker that you're looking for feel free to comment and i will be happy to go through um our huge collection and pull out anything that i think you might be interested in and or if you collect if you collect something um and are looking for a particular item let me know because we very well may have it and so we hope you'll have a merry christmas and we will see See you. I think we're going to try to go live again um, <clears throat> on Sunday afternoon. And we look forward to seeing you then. Have a good Christmas. And...